sewer. Jane, tell them how long you've been doing this. Uh, each one the 13th, I've had 46 years. God bless. That's great. So you started when I was six years old. <laughs> I, you were what, eight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say you can't be much older than me. Uh, now, how how many revolutions per minute is is the the sewing machine? Oh, I don't know. Oh, you're not sure. Okay. All right, I'm not I'm not trying to give you stump questions. Uh, I figured you would know, you know, how fast the stitching goes, and that would give me an idea how many balls of an hour you could turn out. Well, I can tell you that I sew. We get our work in lots of thirty. And okay. It takes me about an hour and a half to an hour and forty five minutes to sew. The half sections, the full sections, and then sew up this little closing after it's turned. Okay. So that's that's how long it takes me to do that. You want the whole story of the, the football? Sure. Okay. Comes to our factory as a as a cowhide. Right. Those cowhides are cut into panels of four. Actually, there's four parts to a, a football. It is, um, it is split so that the, it, a certain amount, weighs a certain amount. Then it is, um, logo is stamped on it. Then it goes to a singer operator, which is a little sewing machine that sews the lining on the ball. Lining is on there to, uh, for the shape of it, to keep the shape. The leather would stretch if it would put the bladder in with the air. Now I'm going to stop you for a second. Okay. Do you feel in all the years you've been doing this, the quality of the leather has improved or decreased? You would know because you're the first person to touch the... the we, have, we are having some problems. issues with the leather. <laughs> Sorry, Polly. <laughs> no, listen. I mean, because because if there's any way if there's any way we could help from our end, that's our that's part of our job. Uh -huh. Well, the the leather company comes into the off or into to the factory every once in a while, and so we are talking to him. I haven't even talked to him some. Okay. You know? So you let him know. Listen, you're giving yeah, me you're yeah. giving me substandard product. And the league is yes. not going to be happy if I'm making substandard footballs. Well, but see, the league gets the best football. Okay, well, I figured that. You know, the best, the quality, or, you know, the, after I get it sewed, if I make a mistake, the league isn't going to get it. It's gone because, because of the inspection process that we have. Right. You know. When you look at, when we look at the hides, so if the hides laid on the table, you're going to take the best, best pieces of the hide, right, or for the NFL quality footballs. Right. So when it, technically when it gets to Jane, the quality issue should be gone and or by the time they get to an inspection process, if it doesn't meet the qualities that we need for a oh, game ball, it's, it's not going to make it. And now what do you do with the ones that aren't of the best quality? Do they go... They're defective. I mean, we can't, we can't, we use, can't them. use them. So we, we would never put them out in the marketplace like that too. Are they given to like, you know, like... Some giveaway type thing right. or donations? Exactly. Yeah, we can use them for that, sure. Okay. okay. Half and full section are half together. Then um, the, it is dyed out and four pounded. Four is means it matches the seams now. Then it comes to me again for the second time. I handle the ball three times. Three times? Yes. Top to bottom to the full section and then this closing. Jane, you 
are primarily one of two people. Yes. That sews all of the NFL game balls. Right. So in other words, God forbid if something happens to her. Jane has to stay forever. But I'm saying you're yes. down 50% of the time. Of course. You're probably going to be a working step. Now how many balls are generally made for one NFL season? Uh, I can't. It's hard to say because you have some that are made for the game and then some are made for retail. It's probably easier to kind of look at it from a sense that we make over 700,000 game footballs a year. professional. Right. I think Denise has told me she's a laser person and she knows for, she says each team gets approximately 780 balls per team, but some of them want order more than that. Right. So you got, 30, you got 32 teams, so, right. so at least that amount. Um, after I get it sewed, then I trim that end up a little bit, takes the bulk out of the, the seam. Check to make sure that all the stitches are there, because sometimes you, the machine will skip. And then after that, then it goes to Jim, who turns it right side out. You want to see what it feels like? Yeah, it's so pretty it's stiff. impressive. So it's stiff, yeah, it's so hard. the idea of when he goes to turn it, Ah, it gets baked. Yeah, normally at the factory we work with 30 balls at a time, so I've got one I'm turning and while I'm steaming this. Uh, you'll notice that I put it on this smooth head. At the factory I do have a press that comes down and presses the top of this because she's left some, uh, some material there. Well, if I turn that, that material could ball up and then and cause a twist in the end of the ball. You don't want end, a twist in the end of the ball. So I'll knock some of that down. Thank you. We have seven turners at the factory, and each turner will turn between 400 and 600 footballs a day. Okay, you notice the grooves on this bar? Yes. I'll put my fingers in the base of the ball, and I'll steady it with this hand. Break push it, push like it in like that. You make it do. And I begin to work it through. She showed you that she left an opening. Yes. I begin to work it through that opening. Now, since so she can't close it like that, I have to push it back up so she can catch the back side of it. See those notches? She'll pull that up and sew that closed. This is the third time she handled the right process we mentioned. Okay, and turning the ball, sometimes that first stitch gets a little bit loose, so I tuck on it and straighten it up so that it don't show on the outside. Down on those grooves, make sure one side's not higher than the other. Make sure 
make sure that the seams are straight across. Now it's ready to have a polyurethane bladder put on the inside to be laced up. Bladder and lace. This is our bladder. It's made of polyurethane. We insert the bladder into the hole. So we'll hold the air inside. So this holds it so I can step it in there. Snip off so it's nice and smooth there. I will inflate the ball enough here just so I can get the Stitching. ball laid. Yeah. The correct amount will go in in the next step. So it does leave the factory with the correct amount of there. Yes, it does. All of our footballs are hand laced. There's 19 lacers in our factory. We lace anywhere from 3,500 to 4,000 balls a day. What's your average time for lacing one ball? Uh, I can bladder and lace in about a minute 30. Wow. That's if I have no one to talk to or any, no one bothers me. You know, I'm on my own. <laughs> and you had your lunch. Yeah. I have my radio on. I can just go to work. And what do you listen to when you're doing this? I try to listen to fast-paced music. I tend to work with the music, so I don't want something slow. <laughs> so if you're listening to rock and roll, it's not Jim Morrison and the Doors. It's like Journey or something. Right? Yeah. Gotcha. ACDC. I was just going to say ACDC, The Clash, or The Clash, or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Like say that. with the belt and the and the hair, I figured you. I figured you. You figured I was an ACDC person. Well, I figured I figured rock and roll. I'm, I'm an ex-musician. <laughs> but are you more Brian Johnson or Bon Scott? I don't know neither one of those. Oh, they're, wow. They're two lead singers. The two lead singers, I don't know. And the other ones are open. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All she cares about is having some fast... This is the fast-paced music, music. that's right. But there's no knots tied in our laces. Once the correct amount of air pressure is put in the ball, that will keep the lace tight and keep it in place. And this is still a hand-driven operation. The ball is fine. It's still, yes, it is. still made to Yes. That's amazing. I mean, what is what is the thought amongst the workers knowing that it's just it's not hand not just that it's handmade, but it's handmade in America. Right. Um, we take a lot of pride in that. You know, um, we get a lot of coverage with being the, you know, the makers of the NFL ball, and we, we do take a lot of pride in that. That shows our good workmanship being with the NFL since 1941. Right, that is a long time. 61 years. So after I get done lacing the ball, you can see it's still kind of lumpy and rough looking. It goes down to our molds. Hi, Pam. Hi, how are you? So now we go to your setup. Yes. Now we're going to give the ball a shit. about a minute and then it'll release itself down to 13 pounds of air pressure and then the molds will come out and see how bumpy they are and then it'll come out looking like this the, pe the seams will be nice and smooth and then it'll go to inspection where we straighten the laces and make sure that we look for defects in the wall make sure it has nice squared ends make sure this damping's nice has nice pebble nice pe tack and then we'll weigh and measure them for game balls. And after we weigh and measure them for the game balls, then we send them back to the laser so they can get through individual names on all the teams, and then we ship them out to each individual team. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. 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 Thank
ladies that pick them out. And you're all fans of the game? Yes. Even the Browns won these years. The Browns won one of my colleagues works out of Cleveland, so I know, I know, I know, I feel your pain. <laughs> and you said that's 130 pounds of pressure? 120? 120. Yeah, it'll, it's in there about a minute. It goes up the, slowly puts it in at 120 and then it slowly brings it back down. And that smooths out your skin. And then we can brush them. We don't normally do this, but we can brush them up. Attack you don't them. normally do what somebody else does. Yeah, the quarterbacks or the equipment managers will do that. So when they get to the teams, they still have different little minor color discolorations. And they get saddle soaked. Yeah. Like a good pair of boots. Yeah. That would be and spill the ball. Okay, I'll brush it up and then let you go. Because when you see them shiny on TV, that's what they've done. Right. The saddle saddle. Same way you do with a good pair of boots or a mm -hmm. good gut holes. Yeah, I'll make them soft and tacky. Yeah, they're definitely a difference. A little tacky, but it definitely feels much better. Yeah, they like the tacky. Right, them. they want the stick. Yeah. Okay. What's the next step? <laughs> so in this area is where we're doing, uh, we do a lot of customization. So things like uh, Denise can put um, the team name on them, like we show them, like what they actually see on field. Right. We also have the ability to do decal uh, decals here, color decals, or laser your name on a football. It's whatever you want it to be. So for your purposes, would you like your signature on the ball? Would you like us to do a ball of your favorite team and show you exactly what the ball looks like on field? What would you like? Show me what the Giants ball looks like. Oh, perfect. Giants Yeah. Because when we send the teams their balls, all we put on those Giants. You want just like the Giants on field, like the authentic, right? You want that or do you want the logo? Uh, no, just what you send the teams. Okay. And this is the only part of the process that's computerized. Yeah. 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 And how fast does this machine work? Well, it works pretty fast, actually. It doesn't take very long to put this in. Because doing the logo, logo it takes take a, little a little bit longer. Long. And this is special software that you guys created just for us. Do what? You, this is special software that you created just yeah. for us. Yeah. yeah. So we do a lot of um, customized ball, right. balls, whether it's for you know professional or collegiate. We do lots of logos on um, our game on the balls. So we do color. We do here you to see here is just the black and into the ball. Curious, what is the strangest request you've had to for to emblazon, whether it's a logo or an, sure. and if, yeah, what would be the strangest thing you've had to put on a ball? Denise, what is it? Is it appropriate or inappropriate? It's all appropriate. I, I mean, just I don't know, different logos. You know, well, I tell you, no, I tell you what, I take this back in Indianapolis. This guy, Mark, actually put on the rock and roll sign. And I didn't even know what the heck he was talking about. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like that's yeah, something yeah, I yeah, can't yeah, even remember. Yeah. 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 Mark was able to do it. So what do you do? I mean, he's got, he's got, he's got, he did, he did, he did something yeah, on the computer and scanned it or whatever he did and put it in the computer cool. for me. And I had no clue what he was talking about. It's supposed to be an inverted peace sign. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Something signify, like that. Yeah. So I guess that, that yeah. just happened in Indianapolis. Right. So. But most of it, if we, were, if we were doing game balls right now, we were sending the Giants to balls. That's what exactly what we would do. And you get a fresh order every year. Oh, 780 is what they get every year. And, pl and plus, you know, depending on, you know, they get a good deal of breast cancer ball, and it also does not include your kickers. That's just their 780 for practice and play. And what's the difference between the regular game ball and the kickers ball? Nothing. 
I didn't think so. No. Is that, we just, that we mark them with a K. K. That my, I do all those right. too. I have to put a, I burn a K and the weeks. Now we also do the weeks. They used to not do that. Now we do, now we mark them with the weeks. Week. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So that that one's marked and they know. I know when I was a kicker, we used to take one pound of pressure out of the uh, air. Out of they the used room. to do so things too. Because of people like you that they start letting the legs. <laughs> now we have to do the chaos. Yes. Exactly. No, I don't know. Now but we know, Denise, where is it this ball? Started. This ball is his, right? It's his. Well, yes. that's when I kick the kicker. The the then, when, if we, what we do at the factory is we take just right here on masking tape. Well, it's funny. And we apply it on there because that takes off the excess ash. Right. And then we spray it with different a little bit of hairspray because that helps set it. Oh, nice. And it dries clear. And at that point, it'd be ready to be packed and, and be shipped out of the factory. So that's the final step? Yep. Interesting. That's all it takes. Yep. Right. Nice. Okay. Great. Great. The more air resistance there is, you'd rather have less air on the more.